My name is Ramsony, and welcome back to Spell Rogue. We're going to be playing Loadout D here for Lapis. This is the same Cryogenesis Loadout as we've seen in the last Lapis episode. So, our signature spell is Cryogenesis. On a 1 to a 4, 2 times a turn. On an odd, re-roll the dice on an even, return a dice. Icy. Icy, when spent in a spell, gives you X Fury. If it's spent in an attack spell, it immediately expends that Fury on the attack. So if we get a 4, put it into Cryogenesis, it gives it back Icy. We put it into Glacial Sphere, which has 4 countdown, and 3 times a turn deals 5 damage. That's 9 damage. Woo! And then there's also Hoarfrost. Uh, it accepts an even and gives us X block twice a turn. And on a 2, it also gives us 2 delayed block. Alright, Mutation 6. <sighs> see what we can do. Mm, mm. I'm seeing some modifiers that I've seen and enjoyed taking before. I have to get 20 points worth of modifiers here as well. So Baneful says, on enemy death, receive 10 weeks. So basically, as soon as you kill one enemy, you're not killing any more enemies that turn. Probably. Unrelenting foes, all enemies receive undying on turn one. Only on turn one? I'm fine with that. Adaptation. For each boss defeated, enemies start with two extra power. That, again, especially for nine points, that eliminates nine points worth of the curse, effectively, uh, from this floor. Nine points of mutator difficulty here can be completely ignored until I'm on the second floor. And then on the second floor, it's fine. It's on the third floor where it really becomes a problem. Take Adaptation and Unrelenting Foes. I don't want to take Hush. Fifth spell cast each turn receives two mute. Can't be played for two turns. I don't want to lock myself out of the ability to play things. Negative 50% gold from combat. Not especially keen on that. I'm going to take Fragile for another two points. Start with 30% uh, less max health. And then Baneful received 10 weak on enemy death. Artifact time, we could get Tidal Talisman on turn one, we roll an additional die. Ocean's Oath, rolling ten die gives us two block. Or Seashell Wand, on turn one, auto-cast a random spell. I do like the idea of gaining consistent benefit from rolling additional die and giving us additional block. An additional die on turn one... Especially on a turn one when I can't kill because all the enemies are undying seems less useful. I'm going to take Ocean's Oath. Okay, there is a two elite path. And there's also the ability, importantly, to bail out of that two elite path. Though there's no shop on that line. I do like an early shop, but I can get an early shop next floor and we'll be okay. Well, as long as I live there. Okay, incoming damage is... Seven? I'm not going to be able to stop an enemy from doing that with uh, damage, unfortunately. Uh, oh, but I can get some additional damage out on the field if I ice up my cryogenesis and then just throw nine damage at someone. Sure, you're not going to die, but I'm fully protected. <clears throat> More than happy to try and get another glacial sphere to kill here. Well, actually, I think I'm better served by attacking the back line as I can double Hoarfrost to defend myself for 4 this turn, which is all income damage, as well as another 4 next turn. And then just start pre-baking the Glacial Sphere for the turn afterwards as well, because I can't kill 2 on the same turn. Some icy... 
Icy 2 being used to finish off that Glacial Sphere will take the enemy out. Gold, a Branding Tonic for the ability to apply 3 Marked to a target. Chemical Reaction, remove X Poison from a target and apply 2 Weak for each Poison removed. There's also Inundate. Uh, deal 8 damage, gain of Foresight. It's 10 countdown, do it twice a turn. And Poison Fling. On any even, deal 2 damage and then apply 2 poison. It also has the ability to have a depleted modifier, gain 2 toxic skin, retaliate with 2 poison to any of your attackers. Um, especially because I have Fury, I still do really, really, really want multi-hit. I'll take a reroll. Hmm... Yeah, this isn't exactly what I asked for, was it? Prescience. I can give it nine countdown, one time a turn. will give us two foresight to roll two additional die on the next turn. I do want to roll more die. Synergizes with a lot of things for this character. Crush. Interesting. So Crash is five countdown and three times a turn does seven damage. But once upgraded, you can have an unrestorable version, which deals 18 damage. Three times in an entire fight. And then finally we have Winter's Bite. I could invest twos into this and maybe even a deplete value and it'll roll some additional dice. I'm happy to take Winter's Bite, but I'm not happy to have Winter's Bite if that makes any sort of sense. I want something else. Annoyingly, the incoming damage is 6, so I'm probably going to have to use my full 6 in Vore Frost. I'm going to do 9 damage to the frontline target. myself as best I can. The frontline target, the corrupt brute, was giving itself three strengths, so I do want to be able to take it out this turn. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, let's pop a Winter's Bite on them. And then the only thing that matters is... Gaining Fury for the next turn, because I can't kill you both on the same turn. Oof. Enemies attacking for six this turn. I'm definitely going to want to kill him. Can I, though? Nine damage twice, as well as one Winter's Might, is just enough to get him. Okay. Poison Fling is back. We've also got Engulf. Nine countdown three times a turn. Deal nine damage. Game three block as well. And Poison Barrier. Five countdown. Game two block. Apply too weak. Sorry, too weak, too poison to a random enemy. Oh, man. I mean, it does at least give me a poison option. When I upgrade it, I could give it the ability to give us more block or poison the enemy for more. Feel like I'm going to need the more block, probably. I'm going to take the opportunity to reroll, though. Okay, so a lot of different ways of gaining Fury here. We've got Cold Snap, just straight up gain 5 Fury for an investment of 5 in Countdown. Could upgrade it to get Concoction or just a little bit more Fury. Sleet Sky, put a 2 into this. It will give you a Hailstorm, and then it'll reroll the die, which will trigger Hailstorm. Hailstorm, of course, says whenever you roll a dice this turn, gain 1 Fury. And Blizzard, just gain two Hailstorm. Six countdown to do so. I'm going to take Sleet Sky. 
It'd be nice if I could use that. Ooh. Offer five max health in order to get the Gilded Dowsing Rod. Every time I move, I get seven gold. Love it. We also pick up our first shard. I don't really want to put that in Sleet Sky to just expand what Sleet Sky will accept, but I also don't want an additional charge of Sleet Sky. Maybe I don't even invest it in Sleet Sky yet. Like, I want Winter's Bite to be able to roll two die, but do I want to invest three die into Winter's Bite for it to be able to give us the ability to roll two die? That just seems, um, bad. That don't seem good. But I'm also about to go into an elite. Can I afford not to upgrade something? I could upgrade the damage on Winter's Bite. Literally just give it five more damage by base. You know what? I'm going to give it more damage right now. And then I'm going to sacrifice it later in order to get that shard back and put it in something else, something better. Hello, Carrion Abomination. Okay, I could just start throwing damage right at you right now. I think I should. I'm going to brand you and then hit you with Winter's Bite. Once, twice, third time to Lady. And heck, I'll even throw in a Glacial Sphere. I only rolled high and odds there. It didn't feel appropriate to mess with anything else. And yet, I will take you out turn two. Gold and Iron Skin Potion for 12 block. I have the storm. Hello. Uh, and I have the storm that was trying to give me hailstorm would also be interesting, but it accepts two to give us hailstorm, which is already what Sleet Sky accepts. Twisted Geyser on an odd DLX damage. Apply poison. Overchill. Gain X block. Only odd amounts, but once depleted, gain a power. I want to re-roll here as well. I don't want to take Eye of the Storm again, but I also recognize the power of Eye of the Storm. Eye of the Storm would be a good tool to just have in waiting. Also just a very versatile tool. I'm just very cautious of overloading my twos. I currently have a lot of things that are competing, uh, competing rather for a to a die. I'm gonna re-roll here. Arctic Ripple. Except the 2 to a 6 does X damage and re-rolls the lowest die. Reality Ripple. Re-roll all other die for a 6. <laughs> I could upgrade it to only need a 2. Or it could gain us a Foresight. Reroll all other die. That does feel like it eventually goes in this build, just not yet. Vengeful Dagger. When attacked by an enemy, gain 2 Fury. Legitimately, I do want anything that gives me the ability to gain more Fury. And I also don't know what I'd do with an additional shard other than expand slots at the moment. I'm going to take that. Let's go for another Elite. Oh, hello. Golem. Nullifies the next status effect applied to it, and it is debuffing a random spell of mine with Broken. Whoa! Two twos? Well, thank you. I'll pop those in my sleetest sky. Throw a two, and a six, and then a six, and Winter's Bite rolling another die, getting more damage from our Fury. There we go, and we'll start pre-baking a Glacial Sphere for the next turn. Never mind, I'm not going to use the Glacial Sphere. Get him. Legitimately, a multi-attack just pops this build off immediately. Ice Ward, hello, you're welcome. 
Absolutely. Ice Ward on a 1 to a 3. So it doesn't just overload my 2s. I can invest 1s and 3s into this. Gain 3 block. When depleted, roll 2 die. I could even upgrade it to get it to roll 3. So good. I'm probably going to sub out my shard. It, as long as I get a good source of damage, I'll probably sub out my shard from Winter's Bite into Ice Ward instead. In fact, Ice Ward definitely overloads it, Hoarfrost here instead. Although I should also drop Glacial Sphere for Hoarfrost. Because there will be a turn where I need to block a large amount of damage. I might not have the Iron Skin Potion available at the time. The enemy is trying to heal six by damaging me. How dare you. I want to defend more, but I don't really have a choice. Unless I end up rolling low, which I do, which is good. All right, I'll be taking one damage this turn and I'll be killing the enemy next. It is wild how often Cryogenesis is giving me a 6 back in return, especially considering what I usually want is a 2. Wash away, invest 7 into its countdown, it'll roll a die, and gain a Surge. Surge, importantly, also says, apply one week to all enemies when gaining block for one turn. I think this is actually a really, really good tool for us. So, once upgraded, it can downgrade its cost to 6, which means I can invest a single die and it'll reroll itself. That's great. Gain a Surge, and then a block as well, that block triggering one week to all enemies. And then, investing an Ice Ward gives me another easy, you know, possible three instances of block. After which I roll even more die. So that's... Four weak on all enemies, that's a really, really good way to invalidate multi-hits. I think that's worth its weight in gold here for us. I almost want to swap out wash, uh, Hoarfrost and Wash Away, so I'll do it. I almost want to! And that's why I did. So I just want to deal as much damage as possible this turn. Let's re-roll this through to see if I get a 2. I don't. Well, I'm dealing less damage now because I'm not going to be doing Fury with Winter's Bite. Alas. 24 damage on you. I'll roll a die. And I'll happily pre-invest that into Wash Away so it's easier to cast later. Mm-hmm. Sleep Sky, reroll our two. <laughs> Into a one root. Uh, wash away. Please roll a low die for us here. One, two, or three. Oh, you did it. I'm going to drop all of those into Ice Ward. In doing so, weakening the enemy a bunch. And rolling some new die. Then this two goes into Sleep Sky, rolling another new die for us. We roll this three through cryogenesis looking for there we go a four was going to be ideal because now i'm dealing 20 damage with my first winter's bite and then another eight with my second i'm taking no damage and it's going to be very easy to take this enemy down next turn <laughs> but not in a way that prevents me from taking damage i'm gonna have to take damage to take this enemy out to the ignite specifically well one, two, I rolled too high to defend myself. <laughs> Whoa. Gain another spell. There's Grasp, Blow, Gain two block, roll one odd die. For any even. Crashing Wave. A one or a, a one, two or four, and a one, two or four both have to be the same. Deal X plus X damage to all enemies. And then finally, Incision. 
Deal two damage, apply four rupture. I'm gonna take a reroll here as well. Chillcore, hello. On a four to a six. So this would give me the ability to defend if I had a lot of a uh, high value die as well. On a four to a six, gain three block twice a turn. When depleted, apply three weak to all enemies. There's also Deluge, deal four damage to the front enemy, increased by one for each block. We're not blocking ridiculously. I'm gonna take Chillcore. I don't know if I'll get to use it though. Red Dawn on a four roll, negative two countdown to a random spell. Yep, I always want my spells to cast. I, I, I'm not gonna run into the same problem I ran into last time where Red Dawn was casting countdown spells I didn't want to have cast. Uh, we'll definitely be disenchanting a spell for max HP here. I think I will actually get rid of Glacial Sphere rather than Winter's Bite at the moment, just because uh, I don't have damage otherwise, and I feel like I might need that. Just a win, like a fight? It's just a novel concept. This is because my last episode ended with very stubbornly holding on until the enemy was just killing me in a single hit. <laughs> I've learned the value of having some damage. Oh man, roll two fours? What up? Hell yeah. Um, I'm just gonna be stunning the heart of the forest. There was a comma before the name of the boss, by the way. Uh, just to see what we get here. Ooh, wash away. I don't want to decrease its cost even further. I want it to be ready to use on a turn when the enemy is actually attacking. Like now! This seems like a great time. Oh my god, two more fours. Sleet Sky, re-roll, and it gives me a one, and I'm fine to use that one and wash away easily. Oh, baby. Oh, but I'm not gonna get any block for the rest of the turn, so that doesn't matter at all. Oh. Um. I'm gonna be able to stun this mainline bad boy. I don't need to hailstorm again. But if I, 50% of the time here, yeah, no, 50% of the time it would have been sick, because I also would have been able to ice ward afterwards. Alas, we're only taking 8 damage here, and I'm going to be getting, like, I want to say 15 to 19 health rewarded after the end of this battle. I could just start with three, uh, 3 ice wards right now. And realistically... Probably should prevent him from just damaging me. We roll a one. Ones aren't that useful for us. Okay. I'll drop a Winter's Bind on the field and then prepare for a wash away. Reroll this three, because a four would really dang. Reroll the six through wash away, and it just gives me another six. All right, I see. I see what's going on here, game. You just want me to hit the enemy, eh? I can oblige. Take one damage this turn. And then I'll kill the Heart of the Forest next turn. Of course, next floor, all the enemies will have two power because I've defeated a boss. No! Why did you have to curse my twos away? Twos are so good! Anyway, you're dead. But it would have been cooler to do with Sleet Sky. I'm gonna need to roll an additional die every turn, I'll tell you that much. That, absolutely. Ooh, 19. Cool. Roll an extra die every turn. On turn one, all enemies gain one power. No, Dark Wraith Scythe. Roll one die less each turn, but each turn gain two critical. No, 
Amulet of Sacrifice. Roll a die extra each turn. Negative one block from all spells. No. I'm taking Leyline Focus, and I really, really need to get my... Uh, chill Core would be lovely to actually put on the board at the moment. You need to figure out my priority ordering, and I think it's that. <sighs> now, I want the earliest shop and then the most elites. Maximum elites is one. Rude. Uh, earliest shop. I, I will take the second earliest shop just because this line has a shop and then an event rather than a shop and then a sanctuary after the elite so that's veering off to the left at the very start here chill call will give me the ability to defend at higher uh the higher uh, die sizes as well as being able to weaken enemies will help offset the extra power i've given them which is a lot. Well, I mean, they're not attacking on turn one at least. Got to hit him with the sleet sky. So I'm looking to get as much damage out there as possible to try and almost take out one target this turn, if possible. Which means Ice Ward is not part of this. I do just want to roll my ones higher. Just got the same three back. That's okay then. <clears throat> I'm going to start on the Spitting Grub in the back line. Which will give me the ability to make Wash Away only one away from casting. Roll a four. Instantly cast Wash Away. Let's go. Oh, and it did it. Oh, that's going to help us defend. Let's first invest three into Ice Ward, weakening all of the enemies three times, as well as re-rolling to die, one of which triggered Winter's Bite, killing an enemy. Then I'm going to Cryogenesis two Icy Fours and cast them into Chill Core to again gain one block as well as weaken the enemy by one. And then the second one will also weaken the enemy by another three as it depletes Chill Core. Uh, I do have the ability to attack with Winter's Bite if I really wanted to twice this turn. The first turn would be safe and then the second turn would... Or I could just wait for the additional two block next turn. And I would only do 6 damage on turn 1. I wouldn't even do any damage with the second attack to the enemy. Yeah, I prefer this. Keeps my fury for the next charge. There we go. A Cryogenesis 4. Ice Ward for a bit more defense. And then the Cryo 4 sends... More damage in. This is going to try and receive two spell damage whenever the spell is cast for two turns. Oh, okay, so it doesn't stack for more damage. Okay, then I can just hit you again. I was only going to have to chill core in between anyway. Oh, that regeneration vial is going to be really big in a later fight. Game 5 regeneration. Vile Ritual. 
Gain three power, receive one poison for two die of the same size. There's also Brine Bubble, which I'm actually considering Brine Bubble. It accepts an even, but if you give it a six, it re-rolls it. Currently, my sixes only really afford you know, going into Chill Core or Wash Away. This is an opportunity to get a re-roll out of that take it. I don't know if I'll keep it. I definitely don't know if I'll incorporate it into the build. Let's see what the rituals offer. Bloodbound skin. Tax gain 20% lifesteal for one turn. This is a great fixing tool. If I've taken damage on the previous turn, no I didn't. There's also Lath Spell. Roll a Lath Spell 1 to 3. When that's spent in a spell, you add X charges to the spell. And then you remove Lath Spell. On a spell being depleted, it gains 1 energy. It needs 9 energy to be cast. I mean, I don't usually want to add charges to mine. Manifold Gateway, times 2 value... Oh, enchant two dice with Manifold, which gives them times two value and countdown and X effects. I'm leaning towards Bloodbound Skin literally is just a save my bacon kind of tool. Oh boy, they're all going to have three power. This is going to be toughy. Oh my god, they're just getting stronger as well. Reroll a one via cryogenesis. We get a five. Uh, I'm gonna drop three winter's bites on the backline target. Drop a chill core and. I'm also going to put a single six in Wash Away. It'll cause me to take one damage this turn. But it will get Wash Away much more prepared for the next turn. Oh, here's all my twos. God, I love rolling twos. Both of those go into Sleet Sky. We're going to have two Hailstorm ready. Then I can throw a one into Wash Away, which will also roll a new die for us. Great. Then I can put a one, and a two, and a three, all into Ice Ward, rolling in another two die. Chill Core will now full defend me. So let's take that full defense. And my attacks have gained additional lifesteal for a turn. I'm going to reroll the one up. Oh boy. I'm going to reroll a three. Oh, that's a one again. All right. I just... I can't even kill the frontliner. Oh god. I'm gonna have to use Chill Core and Ice Ward for some defense this turn, and then I'll try and heal back up while killing them next turn. It was just short of enough damage to take all of them out this turn. Well, I guess actually I can't take both of them out this turn. Because the whole, I get weak after taking out the first one.
turns. So my goal now is to gain as much fury as I possibly can before the next turn. That'll do it. Uh, I do want to roll additional die wherever possible because I want to get Ocean's Oath to 9 before I end a fight. Which is just going to be hard to do. Uh, I'll get it to 8. That's going to be enough. Still get 2 block on the first turn of my next combat. Deluge is back, so is Poison Barrier and Incision. We've seen all of these earlier. I'm still not really good at blocking, so Deluge doesn't really feel appropriate. Incision rupturing the enemy is similar. Kind of just want to reroll, but I also want to save my money because I know the shop is in the next space. Take Deluge and go to the shop. Ghost Charm, that is a lot of defense right there. Mental Reservoir! Huge! Roll five dice. Don't mind if I do. Icicle Blade has a countdown of four, can be used two times a turn, deals four damage and increases its damage by one this combat. Ghost Charm. We've also got Frost Veil on block gained, gain one fury. That's great. We're definitely taking Frost Veil. Plague Pestle. I do like Plague Pestle for additional damage. Gives you Pox. Well, gives you Pox Bringer, rather, which means every time you attack an enemy, you apply one Pox. And Ghost Charm. I want all of these and Mental Reservoir. I'm not going to be able to afford all of these in Mental Reservoir, though. Unless I start selling some things. There's three things I can easily sell. I think I'm going to be short. Frostvale. Nope, never mind. Ghost Charm and Plague Pestle. We just got a lot more powerful. So Mental Reservoir, when am I going to get to use you? Like, I almost suspect I should drop it in instead of Chill Core. Because if I end up with a reasonable amount of sixes, having something to invest them in so that I can actually go the hell off seems useful. Reality Ripple would also end up working in that build. If my die are too high value, then I can try and use Mental Reservoir to lower that value. Let's go the event before the elite. Uh... Yeah, I'm still not going to want any of these more than water spells. Okay, I've got a damage. Oh, there's Noxious Ritual again. I'm I'm not going to take it. It's incredible. It's, it's really, really good. But your build starts to become pretty narrow once you have Noxious Ritual because, I mean, I'm rolling a lot of die. That's great. Oh, but I'm also gaining a lot of poison. That's bad. Oh, either I have to kill the enemy before I de <laughs> deal damage to myself via this poison, or I need to get rid of the poison. It starts tending in a pretty degenerate direction pretty quickly. In a storm, though, deal X damage to a random enemy two times. That is a really, really good way to carry damage from a Fury build. I want to get rid of Winter's Bite. And when I do so, that will free up a uh, ba -ba -ba -da thingy. What's the word I'm looking for here? That will free up a shard. That'll free up a shard, and when it does, I'll have the ability to upgrade in a storm to get two more charges a turn or gain X block. Eh, I'm actually not super interested in that. Ice Ward still doesn't roll three die when it's depleted. That needs to be changed. Blade to Grub in the front line and the Desert Golem in the back line. The Blade to Grub in the front line is currently gaining even more block. Mm. 
feel like I should probably target the Golem first. The Frontliner is going to be defending big each turn, but I will actually target the Frontliner. Oxspring is now on us. Cool. Uh... Winters bite you two more times. Gain a two for that sleep sky. Got a five back in return, which I can use to pre invest in wash away. Well, a one into a five, and a three into a one. Well, one will go in wash away, so it's easy to cast with six next turn then. And the two fives will go into mental reservoir. So that it's only eight for me to roll five die. Okay, two in sleep sky. Doesn't roll another two. Rude. I'm happy to use a four rather than a three in. Taking out the enemy frontliner there. Um, let's also drop a one into wash away so that my six can trigger surge. Because I would love to weaken this enemy. And I'll ice water up twice. Trying to weaken the enemy twice, but the enemy will not play ball with that. So the enemy's trying to do 20... Wait, what's happened? Why am I not... Oh, dodge is pre uh, preventing 8 incoming damage here. I see. I forgot about dodge. I was more than prepared to just gain that life back next turn by a Bloodbound skin. The enemy giving me even more fury when attacking me there. I gotta love putting a two into Sleet Sky. In fact, let's throw a one and a six into Wash Away as well. Six opens Mental Reservoir. I put two sixes into it. I'll let a whole bunch more die. That ah, triggers Winter Bite. A couple of times. Sleet Sky again. Looking for re-rolls wherever you'll let me have them. too short to trigger Mental Reservoir. So I end up rolling much higher. Nope, I don't. Alright then. Get popped. Some more gold and a new spell. Frost Core. Double your fury with a six. We could also have it have a ten countdown to triple our fury. I think that's a reasonable pickup, but I'm not going to be using it for a while. I'll need more space and to have swapped out my spells for that to be reasonable. Oh, hello, Devil Assassin. I know you're gaining Malediction, so I'm going to actually have to attack you. <laughs> I still remember last episode. Man, I can't not roll fours. Throw two four, uh, three fours rather into mental reservoir, rolling a bunch of new die. Oh my god, that's so many twos and fours! Another two into sleep sky. 
Oh, but one in there for a reroll? Before into Cryogenesis and then into Winter's Bite, get an additional reroll. Uh, why does it always have to be? I needed more, uh, another low die for the sake of Ice Ward, but didn't manage to get one near the end there. That's okay. I pre bake wash away, which auto casts itself at the start of its turn, rolling a digital die for us. Love to see it. Cryogenesis generates a another five for us. So two fives and a six. Still short of mental reservoir. So I'd have to invest four of my die into Mental Reservoir to roll five die. I'm not going to do that just yet. would like to be able to surge. Sleet Sky, I rolled low, woohoo! Realistically, I should use that to Ice Ward. Defend a couple of times here. Thankfully, I'm dodging, so I'm not going to take any damage yet. But the enemy's incoming damage this turn is going to be pretty brutal. Man, that turn would have been sick. Two sixes and two twos. Without the curse, I would have had Sleet Sky going off and then I would have completed Mental Reservoir. Wow. What a turn we could have had. I need to push for the kill this turn. I need to put all of the... the press the, the gas pedals, etc. Because if they don't go down this turn, I go down. I say that. And yet I'm not actually capable of taking them out. <laughs> Two HP off. Oof. Uh, I don't need to defend more though. This will be okay. Reroll a two via Sleet Sky. A three via cryogenesis, then sleep sky. All of this is just getting more rolls for the sake of ocean zone. And that'll do it. Gold smoke screen for a second dodge. In case Azure, on a 1 to 4, holds the dice until next turn, at the end of each turn, you gain X block. Eh. No. Overchill and Brine Bubble we've seen before recently as well. Take the reroll. Polar Nexus says gain 1 Fury for each block on a 6. I don't actually block for a large amount. Focus Toxin would be the ability to give the poison to the enemy rather than to hold it myself. I will take it, but I'm... I'm not doing it. Charge Necklace, deal 15 damage to a random enemy on turn one. Definitely taking a Sharder in this instance. Whew. Let's get... Honestly, let's get Mental Reservoir to either give me Foresight or roll 
Um, or be cheaper. I think I need to go Foresight for it. Rolling two additional die is the ability to trigger my on-roll effects two more times. I've only got one more fight until I can sacrifice my attack spell and get a new shard, as well as replace that attack spell. Woof. That's a turn of big damage. Ooh. Thankfully, our roll has set us up to immediately start washing away. So now I only have to gain some block in order to provide weak to all of our enemies. I'm short of being able to do Ice Ward, but I can throw two Winter's Bites out there. And it rolled low enough that now I get to do three Ice Wards. I like that I gain Fury as well as give out weakness at the same time whenever I gain block. Oh, we get another two threes afterwards. I'm going to use the Iron Skin Potion to block for another 12 this turn, also weakening the enemies yet again, so that will avoid me losing my dodge. Also, I don't want to have all of my potion slots filled at all times. <gasps> Only twos and fours. If I only ever rolled twos and fours, I would be ecstatic about it. Sleet Sky gets used twice immediately. Winter's Bite occurs just because I keep rolling well. Mental Reservoir now rolls another five for us. was even capable of pushing through the additional weakness I had. Oh, uh, that's great. Alright. Steal health when we cast spells this turn. Roll a one, we get a six. I'm gonna drop two sixes, and then the silent six into Mental Reservoir, because I don't need to cast that again. We get a whole mess of ones, as well as a two for Sleet Sky. Easy to invest in Ice Ward now as well, the additional rerolls. Man, I can't stop rolling ones. What is going on here? Oh, got a two. I can Winter's Bite you for 21. I don't think I'm getting a kill here, right? Yeah, even after Pox. I do a reasonable amount of damage, though. But I'm going to have to do some re-rolling this turn to get Ocean's Oath to get back to a reasonable degree for us. Three and Ice Ward, re-rolls to die. Oh my god! Why can't I roll anything except these ones? <laughs> Winter's Bite takes the enemy out and we've got Ocean's Oath at the appropriate size. gonna do it. <laughs> you can't make me. Uh, I've done it before. I've done it many times before. Akashic Aqua. Accepts two evens, gives you eight block. On an eight, 
It gives you two power as well. On a 12, you roll two icy dice. But I don't want to. I'm not going to use it though. Disenchant, Winter's Bite. Gain that shard back, drop in a storm into the build, and I'm going to open a new slot to pop Reality Ripple in. Let's go, boss battle. At least the enemy's not going to be healing. Ooh, Wash Away is already ready to trigger. Hell yeah. Uh, more than fine with that. It's a good good position to put a five in. Especially when it gives me a two for Sleep Sky. Roll a one via cryogenesis. A three via cryogenesis again. And then I can actually trigger mental reservoir this turn, and I absolutely will. I've got two hailstorm. Let's drop three ones into ice ward. Roll an additional two die. Right. I should probably throw in a storm before I start re-rolling again. Reroll via reality ripple. And I'll throw another one of them out. Cool. Managed to hit the front line twice. Foxbringer, and it also sets up for a reality ripple on a later turn by nestling three in there. And we've also got the foresight from last turn, so we're rolling additional dice this turn, which should make it much easier to hit foresight again. Let's wash away the pain. A six. A six and a four. It's enough to hit Mental Reservoir. Oh boy, those aren't the numbers I was looking to see here. Uh, I'm definitely going to be throwing three into Ice Ward. Defending myself very effectively, giving a bunch of Surge to the enemy. Or having a bunch of Surge and giving a bunch of Weakness to the enemy, rather. Yeah, these are not the numbers I'm looking for. They're too high. <laughs> uh, let's... Cryogenesis a four. And heck. Oh, I was doing that literally just to see if I got a two for Sleet Sky as well. And I did. Sick. Then I'm gonna re-roll all of these via reality ripple. Twice. Perfect. Found another two. That goes in Sleet Sky, another. Hailstorm and re-roll, and then in a storm for 30 damage for random enemy two times. And both of them hit the body. Hell yeah, I'm down for that. I'm already defended against the head. I don't need to worry about it. Oh my god, that's so many twos and fours! Simply have to love that. into cryogenesis. Oh, three into cryogenesis. Cool, that six will do it. Uh, a six, six, and a four into mental reservoir. We'll roll an additional five dice as well as keep us deep in uh, deep in foresight related turn. Yeah. 
Let's finally gain Surge. I can throw a... Two and two all into Ice Ward. Rolling two additional dice, having done so. Great. Reality Ripple immediately casts itself, re-rolling all of my dice for me. And I do have two fives to actually be able to cast 51 damage to a random target two times. See, 46 Fury would not be anything to turn one's nose up at doubling. And I definitely have the additional material at the end of a turn to be able to do something like that. Cast Reality Ripple again. And another Inner Storm. This one mainly just carries charges of pox for the enemy. It's nice to have eight. Got a six and a one into Wash Away. Ooh, our rerolls are pretty poor. Okay. A one, a one, and a three into Ice Ward, and I really need to roll well here. That's not exactly what I was looking for. I'm not going to be casting Mental Reservoir this turn. But I can set up to be able to cast it next turn, at least. And gain some additional Fury. I don't desperately want three green Hydra heads out on the field at the same time anyway. Oh, that's a real tough roll for us. Sure, I'll just put a three in Mental Reservoir and roll some additional die, but... Wow, you really don't want to give me any twos anymore. Reality Ripple, those looking for any twos at all? No twos. Wow. One, one, and three into Ice Ward. And then re-roll everything again with Reality Ripple. Hey, two twos! Nice to see them turn up here at the very end of the turn. Okay, I managed to get another one of the heads down. And, yeah, this one can't do anything. It literally can't even apply pox. So glad I have the additional foresight this turn. Drop a two into Sleep Sky. Okay. I do want to wash away as well because the enemy's damage is going to be impactful this turn. Ice ward a couple of times. One, two, and three. There's another two for the slit sky. Woohoo! See if I can roll higher die for the sake of completing Mental Reservoir. That will do it. A 5, a 5, a 4, and a 4! And the enemies are appropriately weakened at this point as well that I'm not taking any damage. Throw a bunch of damage out on the field with the Inner Storm, and then I'll... We'll re-roll everything. And do it again. 
then I can even pre-bake the next re-roll. Okay, well the curse did end up helping us here. It took a two away from me, but it gave me another two, so I'll accept that gladly. Two for Sleet Sky, which I get to activate before Mental Reservoir. It only requires a five and a five and a four at this point. Five and a five and a four. Go for Ice Ward in a similar fashion, thank you. Incoming damage is now... Seven? Get a big old reality ripple here. I'm gonna be... Almost fully defended. Every 10th die we roll gives us a block, and that block gives us a fury, as well as if I have Surge one weak to all enemies. I'm so keen. Uh, but currently the enemies are trying to do 16 damage to my 15 shield. How dare they? Um, I'm probably going to take an enemy out as soon as I use Inner Storm is the thing, which means my second Inner Storm will carry no damage whatsoever. So I want to do all of my rerolling before I send that in. One dead. Two dead. Alright, and I'm definitely going to be taking no damage this turn now. Thank heck, I hit a two. Ones go to cryogenesis. Twos go back to the sleet sky. Six, six, and five and a three for Mental Reservoir ought to be enough. If this Inner Storm hits the front line or it takes them out. There we go. Due to the pox. And in doing so, that prevents me from having to roll another die, so I get Ocean's Oath ready for the next fight again. 23 health, 42 gold, a shard. And I still want an additional die every turn. It's going to be pretty important for me. Hex robes! Roll an additional die each turn. Each turn enchant one random die with Vex. Vex, when spent in spells, lowers all die value by one. I typically want my die to have a lower value than they currently do. Gives me a much easier time hitting Sleet Sky. I do want Ice Ward to roll an additional die for us. So I'll get Ice Ward to roll an additional die for us then. An early shot would be incredible, as I have so many spells. And I can get two elites actually on that path as well, that's perfect. I'm gonna sell these spells. This ooze is ready to split. It's perfect. One of these becomes vexed. And then if I use this four, I now have two twos for my Sleet Sky. Oh, oh, oh. And in fact, I also purged the Vex off of it by replacing it with Icy. I don't want the enemy to damage me too much. Gonna wash away out there on that field. Uh, 
Cool, so we got Progenesis there, that's great. Let's drop a5, a5, and a4 into Mental Reservoir. Roll an additional 5 die. That's a lot more damage for us, as well as a lot more defense. One and two and three in Ice Ward gives us another three back. And then I'll re-roll everything with Reality Ripple. Twice. So Inner Storm will now leave the enemy on 1 HP as they are undying and can't be killed this turn. They will unfortunately take away my dodging though. Oh, two twos! Love to see it. Six and one and wash away. Cool. One, two, and three in Ice Ward. Have a reasonable defense here. I mean, I should take out the enemy with in you know, a storm before. Yeah, I start worrying about really building a high number here. Mental Reservoir, and the Vex isn't going to happen afterwards, right? No. Okay, good. Or into Cryogenesis, and then reroll everything again. And... You know what? That's a five. Let's let that one go out there. Two sixes into Mental Reservoir, and then a four to get a bunch of new die, including a two that happily goes into Sleet Sky. Looking to activate Sleet Sky one more time here before I do more re-rolling. One and a five in Reality Ripple gets us a full re-roll with Sleet Sky up. Sub a five into Wash Away to roll a new die. And two threes into Ice Ward to roll three new die as well. Perfect. Drop a three into Reality Ripple for a full reroll one more time, and I should be pretty close to being able to kill y'all. Five and in a storm will do so. So now I'll try and re-roll anything I can on the lower die. Sick. We gain some gold, crush Arctic, and cold snap. I'll take cold snap. I'm gonna get rid of cold snap. Okay, Spellbound Chorus is here. Next spell is cast twice. It's castable every third turn. If I double cast Frostcore or double cast Mental Reservoir, the fight is over. I kind of want to get rid of Cryogenesis, to be entirely honest with you. I think it's the least useful here. And I think if I replaced it with Frostcore, I might actually just be able to spend a bunch of time building up an Inner Storm that will blow the enemy up. taking Spell Echo. I haven't used it yet. I desperately want to. Poison Detonation! Remove all poison on target. Deal 3 damage for each poison removed. Eventually, I will do a build that has Focus Toxin, Noxious Ritual, Poison Detonation, 
That's it will happen at some point. It doesn't need to be now. Cube of Darkness on turn one, roll a Stygian die. Stygian die persists between rounds but cannot be used in spells. Attacks the front enemy at the end of a turn for a value equal to its damage, and then rerolls itself. I mean, if nothing else, that's an additional die roll every turn. Chaos Crystal on enemy death roll a die. Sun of Lightning on a six deals three damage to all enemies. I kind of want to buy those out. So I'm gonna. And then there's Cloudburst Nectar. Gain one Hailstorm, roll one die. Yeah, that's probably the potion I should buy now. I'm gonna go for these two elites. Do I have two more spaces for shards to upgrade my build? Inner Storm, Frost Call, Reality Ripple, Sleet Sky. Yes. Wash away. Yes. <laughs> I do. Okay, well, there's a Stygian 2 that I can't use for anything, but it did roll a 2. Uh. If I put the 5 in last, I can already roll Mental Reservoir, which I think I should do. Hey, that's a lot of twos, baby. Some of those in the Sleet Sky for a reroll. Then a 5 and a 2 into Wash Away. So that I can start Ice Warding to defend myself as well as weaken the enemies. Then I can also throw a two into Reality Ripple for a full reroll. Oh, cool! I gained a six. I have the ability to Frost Call with that if I really wanted to right now, which I will. Gain 25, 24 rather, more Fury, and then in a storm. This is fifty-three damage to a random enemy two times. That'll take him out, whatever it hits. Well, whoops. It won't necessarily take him out, whatever it hits. And in fact, it made the Wrath Voidling more dangerous. I take an additional 7 damage because I did that. That's okay, I'll be able to... Lifesteal. Well, assuming I get that far. Enemies might be dead behind that. Yeah, a 6 will kill 2 of you. And rolls two more twos, and I'm weakened by 20. Throw a five here away. One, and a two, and a two into Ice Ward as well. Roll another three die for us. Six into Mental Reservoir, and then I can pop two fours in there for a roll five die. Perfect. Then I want to use Reality Ripple twice and invest a six into Frost Core afterwards. I did roll the six. It was also fine. So Frostcore, you now give me 78 more Fury, thank you, and I will hit the enemies for 141 two times. Rolling two additional die while I do so. Vampiric Essence attacks gain 20% lifesteal for a single turn. Honestly, that's probably significantly better than Regeneration die with the amount of damage we put out on the field. Contamination, Ice Blast, and Incision. I'm 
gonna take the reroll here because there's no great reason not to. Channel is your gain X block, gain one foresight. No. <laughs> I refuse to think ahead. I'm not even done thinking things that happened 20 years ago. You think I'm ready to think ahead? Ooh, a two. And sixes? Well, invest two of those sixes into Mental Reservoir. I even want to put a five and a one in there. But I don't need to put the one in until I've started generating Hailstorm. Pop a six into wash away for the reroll. It's back to six. I'll drop a one and then a three into Ice Ward as well. Gaining another two for Sleet Sky. And another three to go back into Ice Ward. Yeah. And then I want a Reality Ripple twice. It's Reality Ripple number one. Hey, and I did roll a six. That's great. That six goes into Frost Core. There we are. And I'm gonna deal 89 damage to you two times. This is an elite, isn't it? Huh. Never would have guessed. I like that enemies die at the start of the second turn with the Staff of Lightning just taking them out because they were undying the previous turn. It's cool. Is your potion plus three value to all die? I typically don't want plus three value to all die, to be honest. Accumulation! <laughs> Gain one block. Increase by one for each die rolled this turn. That's a lot more block than I am probably ever going to need. But, no reason not to take it. Wolf Claw, first spell attack each turn does plus three damage. It's so minor compared to what I already do. Okay, so... Frostcore being able to triple Fury is pretty sick. That seems like a worthwhile upgrade. Reality Ripple giving a Foresight, that's also pretty cool. Sleet Sky having another charge, admittedly, actually is starting to get quite appealing. That's what I'm going to take first. Skip the rest of those rewards, because I don't need them. And then we hit up this event. Receive seven damage and we will gain Amalgamate. Merge die and gain four block. There's also Ether Echo, return dice with Ether, unrestorable. And negative 23 max health in order to gain a shard. Especially because I have another smoke screen, I think I can take that. I worry that I don't defend especially well in the final fight. Like, when an enemy hits me for 25, I typically take 5 damage. So if I have significantly less max HP, how am I going to make it through that? Wash away being uh, lower cost for cast ability's sake. Or heck, even having the ability to gain Surge twice in a turn, so that I'm weakening consistently more. Does have a does have an appeal. Gaining some lock whenever I use Inner Storm also. In fact, that should that's actually probably the best upgrade I can make right now for the survivability of this deck. Hello to the mana devourer! Try not to leave you any die to devour.
Two sixes are getting invested in that mental reservoir. I can tell you already, one of these twos is going to the sleet sky. Six and six and... I will put a five in there so that I can then put a two back into sleet sky before continuing. One more Sleet Sky. Hits another four, so Reality Ripple immediately rolls all of my things for me. Gotta love that. Let's hit a Wash Away reroll. Lost us an extra die there, but I'm starting to weaken the enemy as well. Single one goes into Ice Ward so that I can start investing lower values in that. But that's not really going to happen effectively. That's okay, I've got Dodge. Let's double our Fury, and then I guess next turn I'm just gonna kill you. Oh, never mind, the enemy is stunned. They've got critical, but they're stunned. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna murder you with a single die right now because it'll keep my Ocean's Oath at a good number. Nine, that is. More gold, more spell. Oh, focus toxins back. Sure, I'll re-roll you. Finishing blade replenishes your on a one to a two, gain X block, and then re-roll dice. Let's hit up this next elite battle. If I can complete this without taking damage, then uh, I believe I complete a second a uh, unlock in this run. Which I do like completing multiple unlocks in a run. My favorite things. Drop a six, a four, and then another four in Mental Reservoir. If I roll a four and it hits Wash Away with its decrease, uh, it didn't hit Wash Away with its decrease, but that would have been good if it did, but it didn't. It would have been good. It's Reality Ripple, these die. And that does hit Wash Away. Yahoo! is pretty important as it turns out. I don't think I'm going to be able to Sleet Sky this turn. I'm going to put a 1 and then a 2 into Ice Ward because I need to then use Reality Ripple for the reroll. Okay, good. As long as I have a 1 and 2 in this hand, I can justify using Sleet Sky. And then the 1 goes into Ice Ward. Okay. Sleet Sky a couple more times as well. Yahoo. Unfortunately, not many re-rolls to be done at this point. Drop a 5 into Frost Core. And then I can hit you for 35 two times, as well as gain another set of block, which is going to be another weaken to all the enemies. And then I can do that again with a 3, and that will just, I believe, put me at the position where I'm no longer going to be taking any sort of damage. Oh, that's so good. Pop a six, and then a four, and then the final six into Mental Reservoir, and in doing so, I will set all of these threes to twos, giving me the ability to Sleet Sky ridiculously here. Oh, and that also auto-casts uh, <laughs> Reality Ripple. And then deprives me of another two. Never mind, I've got another two. Very good. Reality Ripple for another full reroll again. Oh, that's a lot of sixes. Invest three ones into Ice Ward to get even more rerolls. Drop a 
six into Frost Core. 164 Fury, but it's a turn. Great. And then Inner Storm randomly targets two, and good. It hit the Orb of Infinity in the front line, so we are going to get out of this fight now. <sighs> Got some gold, pick up a spell. Oh, there it's on dice roll. Thank you, one to its countdown. <laughs> sure. Spirit of Swiftness, cast 10 spells, deal 6 damage to all enemies. Not really relevant at this point in the game. I do want to triple Fury, I suspect, more than have the ability to wash away twice in a single turn. But tripling Fury is not going to do anything in this final fight. Because Arcanax can't be damaged more than 200 in a turn. So I should probably upgrade something that might actually have relevance. Um, yeah. This is our best foot forward. Let's go. Hello, Arcanax. I suspect my most difficult turn will be turn one because that's the turn I need to be able to hit Mental Reservoir, and the turn before I you know, really started actually gaining any uh, power. So I suspect I should drop Cloudburst Nectar right now. And that gives me the ability to cast Wash Away. I'm going to drop another 6 and wash away, rolling again. Then 5, 5, 3, and the Vexed 5 in Mental Reservoir gives me a 2, at least, for Sleet Sky. First 2. And then I can invest a 1 and a 3 into Ice Ward for even more rerolls, as well as weaken the enemy. I'm going to use a full 6 for the reroll from Reality Ripple right now. Still looking for 2s. Found 1 at least. Unfortunately, I don't have a 6 here at the end to be able to drop into the frost core. Unless! My gosh. I do roll into it. 122 extra damage on the next attack. I hit the enemy for 127 twice. So we hit their barrier. And I also get to defend. 14 block. After the enemy's done here. <gasps> That's so many twos! Two! Another two? Hit him with a two? I'm gonna pop two fives into Mental Reservoir and then hit the reroll. Yeah. Hmm. Not really getting what I wanted. Drop a 5 and a 1 into Wash Away, hit that reroll. Okay, and then a 5 and a 1 into Mental Reservoir, because I have to keep that going. I can't just risk rolling low after another Wash Away, even though I do want to cast Wash Away again. Speaking of, I'll cast Wash Away again. Yeah. 
nice warden enough times to get some additional rerolls while weakening the enemy consistently. And then I just want big reroll. A little bit more fury from Frostcore. And then an inner storm to send all that damage out. And heck, I'll use another inner storm just because I can. I'm finally gonna get to use Spellbound Chorus. Hell yeah. <laughs> Reality Ripple auto rolls at the start of the turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cool. Uh, so I really do want to have Sleet Sky going uh, when when I hit the double mental reservoir because it's all of the damage is it come it, it's it's is come from that. I'm gonna drop a single six into mental reservoir. And then hit the reality ripple, looking for twos. Found two twos. I'll wash away out on the field as well. Six and wash away again. Two. Oh god, yeah, that auto casts Mental Reservoir after that. Never mind, I'm double casting Frostcore at the end of the turn then. I was scared of that happening. Come on, roll a six. Thank you. Twenty percent life seal for two turns, not forty percent life seal for this turn, and some additional block great. Frostcore, double my fury twice. A hundred and sixty-four. I think that'll be enough. Hell yeah! All right, Lapis. That's all of Lapis's loadouts done, and Lapis has also now completed the game on Mutation 6. I believe it's only Hazel that hasn't completed on Mutation 6 now. We've unlocked two additional spells, as well as two additional golden die, which will unlock other things for us. We'll have a look at what those have gotten for us. Ah, that got us the Earth Song loadout. So I believe this is the loadout C, or maybe even D, for Hazel has the signature spell Earth Song. It takes a one to a four, three times a turn. It adds one to target die. No, sorry. It adds what you gave it plus one in value to a different target die. There's also Rock Slide, which accepts odds three times a turn. It does X damage. When it's depleted, it rolls a one. And Evens in Terraform. Accepts evens three times a turn, you gain three block, and if you put a six in it, you gain three delayed block as well. We also got some new spells unlocked. Tome of Protection, we gain Aspect of Earth. This is the Hazel spell. Nine countdown, once a turn, gain two block. Increase by one for each spell cast since last use. Interesting. So if you have an open slot, that's very, very good. And then Rhyme Hail. Uh, Rhyme Hail. This is for uh, Lapis. And accepts a three only. Does it two times a turn. Deals three damage. Fury counts double when you use this. Also has the ability to regain half of the Fury or Fury counts triple and it'll accept up to a six. But those are the kinds of things we're going to be looking at in a later run. Until then, though, my name's been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Spell Rogue. Top left is a series playlist for all my content of the game past, present, and future. YouTube recommendations down below. Streaming past are the names of the people so generously supporting the Republican patron.com slash Rhapsody plays. Out above the thank to and a special thanks this episode to Moms. Hopefully you'll all have been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you all next time.